All right, everybody. So here is my final toy room tour video for the end of 2023. And I figured I would start with my largest and most expensive purchase of the year, which is the Super 7 Ultimates Thunder Tank. So I actually uh, waited quite a while to get this. Um, I actually found someone who was selling it on eBay, who was uh, fairly local. And um, I got this for uh, $350 which is basically what I wanted to do. I just wanted to wait and try to save money on it. So you can see all my Thundercats in there. And there is the Thunder Tank. So I got more Thundercat Ultimates down here on this table. And then the bad guy Ultimates are right here on the shelf. And then I've got some other Thundercat stuff. And then I've got my vintage Thundercats figures. So I've actually added um, Mongor and Captain Shiner and Rataro's weapons uh, this year. So you can see that I've made some nice additions to the vintage Thundercats collection this year. And then coming on up, we've got more Thundercats stuff here. Just a bunch of things. And then we've got some Marvel figures on the wall there, some swamp thing right there. So there you go, that's basically my Thundercats corner is this corner of the toy room. So there you go, that's my Thundercats stuff. And then I do have some of the Thundercats up there as well on card. But then coming over here is my Marvel Legends collection, which is just one bookshelf. So these are all just random uh, variations of characters or just figures that I thought were really cool, figures that I've upgraded to other figures. So this is just kind of like a random shelf. This is my Spider-Man villains. So it's funny, I'm not a huge Spider-Man fan, but I really like a lot of Spider-Man's villains. So there you go. And then my... Basically my Avenger shelf. I mean, this is basically just like Marvel heroes. So I've got all my Marvel good guys, Avengers and whatnot on that shelf. And then my Marvel villains are on this shelf. So all of my favorite comic book villains or again, just figures that I thought were really cool. So there you go. And then my X-Men shelf. So my Marvel Legends X-Men. You can see it's getting very crowded, but X-Men's probably my favorite, um, you know, category of Marvel. And then down here, I got some more random stuff. Uh, you know, recently completed the uh, Squadron Supreme. Got some other figures that I like that just don't really fit in anywhere. I've got some MCU figures that I've held on to. Um, so yeah, I've got two shelves of random X-Men bad guys good guys, Spider-Man bad guys. So there you go. That is my small but fun Marvel collection. Then we get to the Masters of the Universe. So I have a bunch of things on card and in package. And then my Skeletor shelf, which hopefully in the next couple of days, I will be getting the Mondo 12-inch Skeletor, which I'm very, very excited about because it looks amazing. But here's just a whole bunch of different versions of Skeletor there. And then my Masterverse villains. So there you go. And then this is a mix of classics and Masterverse good guys. I've said in other videos that for Masters of the Universe especially, I am just way more into the villains, which speaking of, here are my Masters of the Universe classics, villains. And then you can see I have some Origins figures mint on card there. And then these are my vintage Masters of the Universe figures. So these are the ones from the 80s, as well as some other little things back there just kind of hanging out. And then if I move over to here, I've got more Masters of the Universe stuff. So here are my origins. Um, basically, I guess you could say my Horde figures. 
uh, my He-Man variants, just various Masters of the Universe Origins figures. And then I've got all my good guys up here with Castle Grayskull. So there's the castle, there's the Wind Raider, and my good guys. And then over here is my Snake Mountain that I have opened up and displayed. I've got some of my favorites here. So like Sinkor, Whiplash, Skeletor is up there in his throne. The skeletons are guarding He-Man. He-Man is in jail. And of course there's Panthor. Um, and I've got Stratos caught up there in the snake. So yeah, so there is my origin Snake Mountain. And then some more bad guys hanging out down here. Baker's on the sky sled, and Trapjaw is in the land shark. And then all of my snake men. So I've done uh, quite a few custom snake men, uh, as well as, of course, just the regular releases. So there you go. And there's Lady Slither. There's King Hiss. I'm using this as kind of his throne. I've got some guards there with the snake heads and necks. So yeah, I just, I love this Snake Man display in particular. I just think it looks really cool and colorful. And I just like the, the mix of the customs that I've done. I'm still working on a couple other customs. Don't really have room for them, but you know. And then this shelf is waiting for the TMNT Mochu figure. So I actually have a shelf that is waiting and dedicated for the Ninja Turtle Mochu crossover figures. So if I back up here, you can see the whole display of Motu Origins. There you go. And then, of course, my other Motu bookshelf is over here. All right. And then finally in the toy room, the last shelf is all of my random stuff. So this is stuff that just doesn't fit in anywhere else. Uh, it's a mix of vintage stuff, properties that I like, and a bunch of customs I've made. Uh, or some things that I've kitbashed, head swapped, whatever. So you can just kind of look. Uh, I've got, you know, like the uh, Monster Force Creature. I've got the Ghostbusters Wolfman. I've got the Ghostbusters Mummy. I've got a bunch of the Captain Planet figures. And again, some customs and kit bashes and just a whole bunch of random crazy figures. And then same kind of deal with this shelf. Got some vintage Joes. I've got some Super 7 Joes. Again, some customs. Uh, I've got my Swamp Thing. My Kenner Swamp Thing figures are hanging out here. I've got some of the Fortnite stuff. So again, just a bunch of random figures in the collection. Uh, most of this is McFarlane and Super 7. So you can see I got a lot of the McFarlane um, Mortal Kombat back there. I've got uh, Super 7, G.I. Joe, and Toxic Crusader. Uh, I've got the Phantom. I've got Fei Long. I've got Mythic Legions. Moss Man Dude. So yeah, so there you go. This is like my shelves of random craziness here. Just a bunch of figures. And then down here is my uh, DC Imagine X. So I didn't include this in the DC video because honestly I forgot about it because it's just kind of hanging out here on its own. I just like the little Imagine X ones. And of course I like the classic versions of the characters. And then more random stuff. A lot of this is Nintendo, Fortnite, um, well, I said Nintendo, I guess Mario. Um, so yeah, like video game. Yeah, I guess we can consider this the video game figure shelf. And I've got the Headless Horseman hanging out here because I had to move him because the shelf that he was at is going to be for my G.I. Joe Dragonfly when that comes in. So speaking of, uh, in uh, the next part coming up here, we are going to look at my G.I. Joes. So... That will do it for the toy room tour. Um, everything else is in different locations. So uh, this wall over here is Thundercats, Marvel, Motu, and other stuff. So.
there you go. That's it. And we'll be back with more. All right, everybody. So before we get to the G.I. Joe collection, I just wanted to show you my collection of Animal Warriors of the Kingdom figures. So if you didn't already know, this was a uh, Kickstarter that um, I backed pretty much uh, immediately. As soon as I saw these figures, I knew that they were going to be the type of figures that I would absolutely love. Uh, please check out my reviews of um, all the Animal Warrior of the Kingdom waves that I have so far received. Um, and, uh, yeah, so what I've done is I actually have them separated out by the apes and the cats. So, uh, if you, uh, read the comic books, you'll find out which one of these guys are good guys and which one of these are bad guys, because there is a mix. So, the story is not apes versus cats. It is certainly some good guys that are apes, some bad guys that are apes, some good guys that are cats, and some bad guys that are cats. But these figures are absolutely gorgeous figures. The articulation really can't be beat by any other modern toy line, if you ask me. The accessories, the details are all just absolutely beautiful. So this is actually a new bookshelf that I had to buy recently and move over into another side of my living room because I had to make more room for the G.I. Joes, which you guys are about to see. And then finally, up here are all my universal monsters. So mostly Wolfman, but certainly some creature from the Black Lagoon and a few other things. So there you go. We've got the monsters. And you've already seen the superpowers previously. And then they walk. So there you go. All right, everybody. So now we're going to take a look at my G.I. Joes, which I only started collecting G.I. Joe classified at the end of last year and throughout uh, most of this year. So I had to actually buy a couple new bookshelves and put them in the living room because there is no room in the main toy room for my G.I. Joes. So this is my shelf of um, basically cartoon versions of the Joes here. I've got a couple customs. I did a custom uh, stalker and a custom alpine there. So there you go. And then I've got like season two here and then tiger force. And then this shelf is basically my favorite characters in GI Joe. So barbecue, dusty, spirit and freedom, uh, shipwreck, um, well, shipwreck and Polly, um, snake eyes, timber, and Torpedo. So I just kind of have this middle shelf as kind of like my favorite characters. Then I've got a whole bunch that I have customized or kit bashed. Uh, most of these are actually uh, Power Ranger Lightning Collection heads. And these are just all my extra Joe figures. Sometimes I call this my Power Ranger Brigade. So yeah, just a bunch of random extra soldiers, I guess you could say. And then I've got my Transformers down here and my dinosaurs and just a bunch of other random stuff down here. So there you go. That is essentially my G.I. Joe good guys. And then real quick in front of my TV here, I've got some little figures here, some reaction figures, and then I've got my Battle Beasts. So my Battle Beast collection is uh, on the desk that I keep my TV on. So there you go. And then G.I. Joe bad guys. So we've got the twins up there in the trouble bubbles. We've got Python Patrol. We've got Troopers. We've got the water guys. So Croc Master, Fiona, I got two of those. Uh, I made this, I painted the Fortnite boat. To look like a water moccasin. Got a couple eels. Some more trooper figures, range vipers, televipers. So there you go. And then kind of like what I would consider the main characters. So just all the main G.I. Joe villains are here. And of course the Sepentor figure is what got me collecting this line. 
And we've got the Crimson Guard. So here's all my Crimson Guard figures. I love the way this looks. Just very, very nice display. They all look like a team. And very, very cool. So those are my G.I. Joe bad guys. And got plenty of room for more. And I say, bring them on. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to say I'm keeping this spot open for the Dragonfly. So there we go. That is my G.I. Joe Classify collection. All right, everybody. And finally, the smallest part of my collection is my Star Wars collection. So I've got some things on card and in package. I've got uh, loose figures. So basically, if I kind of get in here closer, you can see I've got prequel, original movies, everything else. And then I've got my Darth Vader collection. So basically a whole bunch of different Darth Vader figures, which if you can't tell, Darth Vader is my favorite Star Wars character. Then I've got my shelf of troopers. So all kinds of different types of stormtroopers and clone troopers and whatnot. And then just my shelf of randoms. A lot of this is vintage collection or just old vintage toys. Bunch of random stuff there. And then since I'm running out of room, I had to put some stuff on the floor. So we've got um, Darth Malak and Cal Kestis hanging out there. And then we've got the Emperor with his two guards. So yeah, just my small Star Wars collection. But yeah, definitely the smallest part of my collection. But uh, it's fun. I like it. Don't have much more room for any more troopers. So not sure what we're going to do about that. But we'll worry about that later. So that's going to be it for my um, Toy Room Tour videos. I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, definitely check out my uh, Turtle Layer Tour video, as well as my main Toy Room uh, Tour video, which was my Power Rangers and my DC collection. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe, and have a good one.